Archery has been around for thousands of years, and over time, the bow and arrow has evolved far beyond the caveman's wildest dreams. Today, we're going to see just how far it's come as we watch how one of the industry's most popular crossbows is made for the outdoors. People are passionate about outdoor equipment. Get this, Americans spend more than $20 billion a year on gear. But no one ever really sees how their stuff gets made. Well, that's where we come in. Each week, we throw open the factory doors and give you a behind the scenes look at how your favorite gear is made. Made for the Outdoors is brought to you by Board Review Lodge. The bow and arrow is one of the most primitive forms of hunting. Okay, maybe not that old, but historians believe that archery dates back as far as the Stone Age. The device has been significantly improved since its inception, and developments like the compound bow and the crossbow have improved accuracy and power. At the forefront of the progression is Mission Crossbows in Sparta, Wisconsin. Mission is a subsidiary of Matthews Archery, which has been a pioneer in the bow industry since 1992. We originally started out in Austin, Minnesota. At that time, the company was really small, obviously being a privately owned business. Um, Matt didn't have a whole lot to you know, expand on besides his technologies, and he did it pretty fast. By 1995, he had grown so much that him and 30 of his employees decided to make the move from Austin, Minnesota to here in Sparta, Wisconsin, where we're currently located today. What started as a one-man show in a Minnesota garage has grown into one of the largest archery companies in the world. We've always prided ourselves on being the leader in innovation and technology and always pushing the limits of what archery is capable of. As the companies expanded, so has their fleet of bows. And today, we're headed to Mission Headquarters to check out their newest creation, the Sub-1 XR Crossbow. Today, we're at Matthews Archery, home to Mission Crossbows. We're about to see how their newest crossbow, the Sub-1 XR, is made for the outdoors. There are many types of bows, long bows, recurve bows, and compound bows, but the crossbow is different in that it is mechanically drawn, making it easier to aim and to shoot. Crossbow in general is a bow that is held at full draw for you. So a regular bow, you're holding the weight at full draw. Even if there's let off, the user still holds it. So a crossbow holds the weight at full draw in a trigger mechanism which helps a lot of people shoot that might not be used to shooting a vertical bow. It gets more people in the archery industry. The Sub-1 XR crossbow may be user-friendly, but it doesn't lack when it comes to accuracy or power, two key elements when it comes to hunting and competitive shooting. So the XR is our fastest uh, bow to date without sacrificing the accuracy, the feel, or the quality of build. So we weren't gonna make a fast crossbow unless we could do it right. And one of the main things was controlled acceleration. What I mean by that is our crossbows are slow to accelerate and accelerate fast at the end. A lot of crossbows just put all the power into the arrow right away. That's not accurate, it's not repeatable. Our name of our crossbow line right now is a sub one. And what that means is sub one MOA, which is a rifle term. That means less than one inch at 100 yards. In the development of the sub one line, that was the goal. Much of what sets Mission apart is its constant implementation of new technologies, and the Sub-1 XR has a number of features that sets itself away from the pack. The Sub-1 line has 26 patents pending or patents filed, so there's 26 unique ideas to the Sub-1. But the coolest one is a decocking feature, and this is uh, industry uh, unique to us you push one button and you can decock it. Normally, you have to put an arrow in and you shoot. It's just not an easy way to do it. At the end of your hunt, if you don't fire your crossbow, you press one button, pull back, and let down. It's the easiest, safest way to decock a crossbow. 
Matthews is built on unique ideas. We came out and we just rocked the world with our solo camp. I was never before seen and it was truly better. Um, since then, Matt's genius and how it's designed, we just have tons and tons of patents and unique stuff to us and technology that we make the best shooting experience. Each of those ideas start to come to life during the engineering process. Kind of the support group for our owner, Matt McPherson. He's the genius behind all of our designs. That might be extreme accuracy or uh, brand new technology we might have developed that we want to put into a system that actually eventually comes a product. When we come back, the mission designs go from 2D to 3D as they make their way into the machine shop. You're watching Made for the Outdoors. Made for the Outdoors is brought to you by Borderview Lodge, Ice Castle Fish Houses, Aquarius Home Services, Car Arms, and by Keystone Light. Keystone Light, always smooth. Celebrate responsibly. We're ready to head into the machine shop, but first, it's time to see what materials we're working with. Okay, so this is where the Sub 1 XR all kind of gets started. I'm holding this piece of raw material and it feels like lead. What is this? Primarily all of our products are, are machined aluminum. Wow, interesting. This is very, very heavy. So what all gets made out of this material? We're cutting pretty much all the major components of the crossbow, uh, the cams, the limb cups, the prod, which is the riser portion, pretty much everything that you need to have a crossbow. All right, let's go get these things machined. All right, so we're gonna just slide it in, just like that. All right, that was pretty simple. Slid right into place. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pressurize. Ooh. Putting 3,000 pounds of pressure on. Holy smokes. Does it turn off automatically? Yep. Hold it on until it stops. You say when? That's good. Boom. All right, we're getting ready to send it. More buttons. Did it go? Yep. Green? Start. We're started. All right, let's see these bad boys. It's crazy how light these are compared to that big bar when I was yeah. holding it. There it is. Feeling really smooth and shiny. I think we did pretty good. I think these might make some good earrings. We put them on a string. The riser is cut with a CNC machine, and here at the factory, they've got a few to choose from. All right, Chris, we've got all of our aluminum parts machined. This is feeling a lot lighter than it was at the beginning. Now what's next? So the last part we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna take it through our tumbling process. During this process, basically we're gonna take out any of the small burrs, sharp edges, things like that, so then we can take it actually over to be finished next. We're actually gonna place this inside of a bunch of media. Those media are then gonna be, you know, vigorously vibrated around the item that we're tumbling, in this case, the crossbow rail. And what that'll do is that'll smooth out all the edges, kinda like you're gonna take a piece of sandpaper and smooth out a piece of wood kind of does a little dance in the machine and comes yeah. out looking shiny and, and pristine. Our riser and cams are done for now, but we still have a few parts to take care of. The limb is a major component of any crossbow. Behind these doors, this fiberglass rod goes through a number of top secret processes, turning it into this cut and finished limb. With so much innovation, there are a lot of top secret processes here at Mission Crossbows, including string production. Looks like there's no way in, but Aaron is willing to give us a sneak peek. I am the production manager for Matthews Archery, and I've been involved in strings for 15 years. Started off as manager of strings, and now I've sort of progressed into other areas of manufacturing. I know there's a lot of top secret stuff that goes on with manufacturing <laughs> these, but what can you tell us about how they're made? So uh, each string is hand laid up. 
That means we take uh, some, some yarn and we, we go back and forth with it uh, to the desired number of strands. And then each string is then served with material uh, to put serving in the proper locations where it contacts metal on the bow. Which one here is for the Sub 1 XR? So this is the string. Okay. And uh, these, are, these are the cables. This Got is just it. a unique colored cable. Okay. Um, all of our material can come in any color we want. Do you guys have some crazy like testing stuff back there for the, the pressure of the bow? We do, you can't see it. <laughs> Dang it, I thought that was gonna be our way in. Uh. Hey, it was worth a shot. When we return, we give our crossbow a pop of color. Made for the Outdoors is brought to you by Husqvarna. Iron Jaws. Banks Outdoors. FVP, Verified Proven. And by Warner's Dock. Now that our parts have been machined, they're sent here to receiving, where they join the limbs in preparation for finishing. With the parts machined, it's time to give them a little dose of color, so we're headed into the dipping station. The first step of the finishing process is powder coating. Each piece goes right here and is hand painted before it gets dipped. The length of the track for the dipping process is 362 feet. It's kind of like a little crossbow part roller coaster. Bon voyage, little buddy. The next step is to cook on this base layer. And the recipe, set the oven for 375 for 24 minutes. While we wait for our parts to cook, let's catch up with finishing manager, Jesse. Halfway through the process here, but can you kind of describe the journey that all these racks take? So it starts out powder coat, um, we then cure the paint, and then it moves through the oven into the dip room where we apply uh, the camouflage patterns to it. How often do people walk into these things? Because they're hanging all over the place in here. I'm like, got to watch my back for racks coming at me. Not very <laughs> often. Our, our employees are pretty used to walking through and kind of um, guiding through the, the dip lines. Well, let's head into the dip room and dip these parts. Sounds good. So each part that goes through here has to be at a certain angle, is that right? That's correct. The limb, the stock, each has a different angle that they have to go into the water and a different transfer point, how far up or down the tank they are. And that's so the seam is in the right spot, or essentially, so you can't see the seam, is that right? Exactly. The limbs, we try to get the seam on the edge, so that way uh, the customer doesn't even know that it's there, and the same thing with the uh, stocks. And do you guys ever dip anything else besides uh, bows in here? Uh, we've dipped uh, a number of different things, anywhere from uh, a bike and canoe paddles, okay. uh, for example, so yeah. Do you think we could dip fingernails? Um, it'd be a little messy, I think. I think pink camo would look really good. <laughs> The final phase of the dipping process is spraying on a finishing coat for protection. They might look like Ghostbusters, but these guys are adding an important layer of protection to make sure that color is sealed up before getting the stamp of approval. Here we uh, apply the graphics, uh, we put the Mission logo and the Sub 1 XR name on the limbs. We have a heat transfer that we put over the top uh, and the fixture ensures that the, the label and the logo stays in the same spot every time. Now that our parts are done with their joyride in the finishing department, they're inspected by Brooke behind me and then they're off to inventory before being assembled. Now that each of the parts have been finished and inspected, the bow is put together by one of Mission's assembly pros. Our cams, riser, limbs, and strings are pieced together and joined with additions like the handle and the finger guard, transforming our set of parts into a stealthy bow firing machine. 
With every crossbow part being made and assembled in-house, it's only fitting that they're test fired here too. This test ensures that the speed and accuracy of our crossbow are right on target. Even in slow motion, the Sub-1 XR still flies. When we get back, we put our crossbow to the ultimate test. You're watching Made for the Outdoors. Made for the Outdoors is brought to you by Lacan Marine, Mouse Mix, and by White Bear Lake Superstore. Here at Mission Crossbows, it's obvious that quality is a top priority. So not only through the entire bow building process are we constantly monitoring and checking, but at the end of every bow build, we have a person that additionally goes through and checks the quality on that product to ensure that if there's a foil medallion that's supposed to be there, it's there. Although our parts have already gone through numerous inspections, before getting sent out, the Sub-1 XR gets one final look over, and it takes a special eye to ensure that every bow is absolutely perfect. What I'm looking for is any little imperfections in the bow to make sure that the strings and cables are on each post and that it has all the little fixtures that go on the bow. Make sure that each little bolt and screw is in there and that each sticker is facing the right way and that each limb is on right and each hot stamp is okay. And then once it's done, just go and we'll hang it on this rack. In addition to you know spot checking them for quality visually, we'll actually take every one of the crossbows into a shooting lane where we will not only test the trigger, but we will also speed check the bow to ensure that every one of them is leaving within its specifications and functioning as it should. It's been test fired and inspected, but the real test is letting a rookie take a shot. So I'm taking our crossbow out to the range. All right, Mark, we made it to your outdoor range on site here. Finally get to test the finished product. Maybe just walk me through some of the safety features before we fire this thing. Sure, so we engineered a few uh, key features into it. The first one, uh, it's an automatic safety. So when you cock this bow, it's gonna be in safe automatically. The last one is we got finger guards. It's important to keep your fingers below. Um, so we got this wide platform here. It's intuitive to put your hand right, right there. Right, yes. Yep. Perfect, I'll be going home with five fingers of that. <laughs> Great. We're gonna put our two bumpers on the ground and we're gonna put our foot on our RS tread, we call it the riser tread. Really all you do with these, you have a good leveraging position where you can just stand up and it gets most of the way back for you. Oh wow, So okay. a lot of people try to bend over and pull, just stand up with it. It's, we have it close to the ground by design so that you can just stand up. Like a deadlift. That's right. All right. The boots might not have been the best choice today. When you stand up and you don't think you gotta just, just let it let back down. Let it back down, down yep. easy. All right, so get that whole foot in there. Yep. All right, so I'm gonna take a seat when I shoot this thing. All right, show me how to load the arrow here. Yeah, so we go cock vein down, which is our white vein here, make sure the knock lines up to the string. Okay. You just wanna give it a push all the way back. That's fully seated and all the way down. Whenever you're ready, you would push the safety forward. That'll put it in fire and you'll execute your shot. Got it, and I see a little um, level here. Is that important as well? It is, so that'll keep uh, your arrow below the crosshair, which especially at long range is gonna matter way more. How'd we do? Smoked it. Yeah, yeah. I like it. All right. First fire. Good shooting. There's no recoil. There's no kickback. It's just smooth as butter the whole way. That was fun. Can we do it again? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. All right. Giving this another shot. Bam. Is it done? You're good. Yep. 
Yeah, let's see if we can't put another one in the bullseye. Dead elk. Dead elk. <laughs> <laughs> That's so far. What do you think? Oh my gosh, at 100 yards, you blistered it. Good shooting. Hey, I think a lot of it's this crossbow. You know when it's your second try, first time shooting crossbow, and you can get that close. It's pretty accurate. Well, thanks. That's what it was made for. It's doing its job. Thanks a lot for the help. Thank you. The people who work here not only love what they do, they love the products they make. We get to see and hear about all these awesome stories of people using our product, whether it be you know, a hunt of a lifetime, or winning a state shoot, and those are awesome to be able to experience with our customers. Though the company may have outgrown the garage it started in, it's never outgrown the principles on which it was founded. Close enough is never good enough. We want it perfection, and that's really what we strive for. <laughs> is it like easier in the camera? <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. Oh my God. <laughs>